How do you feel about the defense, especially the secondary through the spring? Good, man. I mean, um, you know, like, I think anytime you got, um, we had some guys from last year, brought some new guys in, right? Like, every every day and every practice, guys have gotten a little better. I'm very encouraged, man. I'm excited about the season, obviously. Um, spring ball has been going really well for that group, right? But, um, you know, I like through the course of spring ball, there's been a major emphasis on trying to take the ball away, right? Guys just technically being in the right position, right? Uh, why did you make this play? Why didn't you make a play? So, you know, spring ball is a great time for guys to learn, especially new guys in our program. And for the younger guys who was there last year, right, it's time to, like, step their game up. And I've been seeing a lot of that from, from various positions, man, guys all over the field. And I'm very, very encouraged about the direction of the defense, really excited about it. Um, and, and it's a testament, right, to some of the – we got some new coaches, right? We had um, Coach Coach – Coach Clint got in like two days before we started spring ball and just the things that he's been doing with that room, like it's been awesome, right? Coach Archie, obviously we hired Coach Archie prior to that. He's he's a wealth of knowledge. Um, we got a really, really special room and I've been able to kind of cultivate the whole secondary with me. Um, um, Coach K, um, Kevin Richardson and Coach Ryan Simerson, you know, we were kind of like a three-man tandem, you know, and meeting all together with the secondary, it's been really, really good. And I'm very, very encouraged, man. Like got some young guys I think are pretty talented. I know Coach B said there's a big Kind of time to evaluate the corners oh, the, yeah. this spring. Uh, with Zach leaving, who, who have you seen step up? Yeah, there? so um, a couple of guys that we've seen step up, man. Um, first and foremost, Caleb Patterson, right? I think his strides from last year to now, I mean, he's grown tremendously, right? That same, so same things that we saw um, in junior college, right? Have kind of, they've kind of, he took his game to a whole nother level. He's made some really, really good plays throughout the course of spring ball. Um, um, Chase Canada, Chase Canada's done a tremendous job. Right, obviously, um, I think with his skill set and what he brings to the table, um, that young man's pretty, he's, he's special. Like talent-wise, he's really, really special. And, you know, he's, he's still learning the defense, but he makes some plays where you're like, oh my goodness, right? This 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 cat has a bunch of years left in school. And um, I'm really, really excited to continue to mold him. And then um, Jaheim Clark, right? Call him Juice, right? Um, I mean, he's probably the fastest of the group. You know, he had a, uh, we had the last scrimmage we had, you know, he had, he, production wise, like he was like through the roof. You know, he made a lot of plays. He showed a lot of physicality. And between those three guys, man, I'm like really, really encouraged with where this, where the, where the cornerback room is going. And like those guys are the standard just in terms of their athleticism, how they run, you know, and, and you know, oftentimes when guys start to play really, really well, part of it's just by experience, right? Like, like you know, um, Devin Witherspoon and coming here, right? making plays left and right, right? He made a play here and messed up from time to time. But then by the time he got into his second and third year, third year primarily, right, he was, he was, he, he made a lot, a lot of plays. And so I just been trying to put those guys in position, you know, um, whether it's man or whether it's variations of zone to just have success and then just understand the whole scheme, right? What are teams doing when they go condensed? What are teams doing when they go tempo, right? What are teams doing on third down when they, when they, when they're motioning a the guy in, right? And just trying to really teach guys the game of football and, like they just hadn't played enough football at this level, right, to truly understand that. So we try to we try to replicate that and I thought we did a really good job replicating it in um in spring, right? And you know, I'm just um I'm, I'm asking Coach um Coach Lunny, hey, can you give us this, right? He asked me to, like it's just really good back and forth between offensive coordinator and defensive coordinator, man. I've been I just been really encouraged about that room in general, you know. Um Was Zach even a surprise entering the portal? Yeah, yeah, it was. It was to be transparent and you know, um Guys have their various reasons for wanting to leave, and um, I won't I won't dive too much into it, man. But I'm excited about the room that we have, and 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 you know, like that's 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 the way the world is right now, man. And um, I can tell you this: any guy in that room, I'm going to coach really, really hard, right? The expectation won't change; it will never change. And um, and I want guys I want guys who want to be competitive. At the end of the day, man, like like. Um, if you're not competitive, I told the room yesterday, if you're not competitive, you don't want to be competitive, I'm the wrong guy to be around. Like, I, I am the wrong human being to be around just because, you know, like like nothing's nothing's going to be given to anybody, man. You got to work for it, right? And that's got to be the golden mentality. And, and we got to operate like that with two chips on our shoulders just collectively as a room, you know? Like I like said, Brown wasn't the biggest safety in the country. He wasn't the fastest, right? Quan Martin wasn't the quickest, right? Like a lot of those guys, they, they had different intangibles. What, what made them special was their hunger, right? And their competitive nature. Any elite player, right? You take any elite player, the Johnny Newton said, where all of them have that one burning desire to be ultra competitive, right? That separates them from the rest. And so 
Um, if we, what we lack in other areas, we got to make up with that competitive spirit of nature. A little bit of a rebuild up front. Uh, who's stepped into those roles here in the spring? I'm going to kind of keep some of that to myself, but I will tell you this. <laughs> okay. Um, obviously, we lost some good players up front. We lost some really good players up front, right? Um, between Johnny and Keith and, and Dax um, and Bryce, right? But with some of the guys we have up front now, um, I think collectively that, that room could be just as special. You know, um, with just some of the things I've seen throughout the course of spring ball, you know, it's been very, very encouraging, right? And I'm just trying to teach the secondary, hey, listen, man, what, what some of these guys are capable of doing, you won't have, you won't need to cover long. Right, you just gotta do your job initially and do it well. If you do it well initially, right, some of the guys we got up front are special, right? They're really, really talented. And so um, try to get them to the quarterback as fast as possible. And, and I mean, obviously we brought some new guys in, right? Dennis Briggs has done a tremendous job, right? T-Rod Edwards, right? He's done a great job, had a really great practice today, right? Um, obviously you got Gabe, Seth, you got Alec Bryan, you got Daniel Brown. I mean, we got some, we got some guys on our roster, Alex Bray, right, Young Buck. You know what I'm saying? We got some guys on our roster, Joe Barna, right? We got guys on our roster who are literally playing extremely, extremely well. And I'm very, very encouraged going into fall camp. Um, very encouraged, obviously, about the spring game, but just as we as we get through the spring game and, and kind of assess where we're at, right? Um, I probably feel just as confident as I did last year going into the off season, you know, with, with, with some of the guys that we have up front. I want to ask you about Daniel Brown specifically. Mm -hmm. is, is he a guy because of his quick twitch is, yeah. who could jump out as a playmaker for you? Yeah, man. I mean, he just, he, he just put, he has a different, he has a different gear. You know, he's, he's, he's very, very springy. He's strong as an ox, you know, he's quick, you know, down in pass rush. He do some very, very dynamic things that are, that are just God's gift to him, you know, and, um, just trying to utilize that guy as much as possible. And he's been doing a great job. You know, he's a very, very, very smart young man. And, um, I mean, he's had a really good spring, but he's continuing to learn and grow in his scheme and his system. And, right, along with a lot of the other new guys that are, um, that obviously came in. But very encouraged um, with where Daniel is and, and where he'll keep progressing. And talking about the corners, like Tyler Strain was the guy yeah. we've seen there. There's, you didn't mention, like, does he have a versatility yeah. in the secondary? Yeah, I ain't mentioned him for a reason. That's my little secret weapon right there, man. I'm a, Hold my back pocket. Strain, Strain has had the best spring ball he's ever had since he's been here. All right. Um, he's playing outside and inside. Um, he's done some tremendous things, right, for us. Um, we, we line him up outside. We line him up inside. Um, he, he's, he's kind of my Swiss Army knife a little bit. But um, he's going to be a very, very important piece for us to have success in that secondary this year just because of just, just because his skill set, right? Nobody. Right, I said Juice is probably the fastest, right, along with Strain, right? Nobody runs like Tyler Strain does. And um, um, because we're all meeting together, right, Strain is probably more in the safety room than he is in the corner room. But we're all together, so we're all one. But um, he, he he does indie with the corners, but his, his skill set is just so unique and dynamic, man, that, like, he's had a really, really good spring, and I'm really encouraged by him. And he just got to keep getting better, you know? Like, like, he's starting to understand, right, obviously going into year three, like, okay, well, what are teams trying to do at this position? Right? How are teams trying to attack me? What is this split saying? And just his football IQ has, rendin, uh, has risen tremendously, you know, and you start to see that with guys who've been in the program, right, for a couple of years, and they just start to do things and comprehend things that you would hope they saw a little sooner, but through experience, it starts really, really clicking for them. But um, um, I didn't talk about him for a reason. That's my, do, do that's my he, secret weapon. Do he and X give you some versatility to – mix and match or compete the way you want to? You guys are asking all the right questions today. <laughs> yeah, um, him and X does, right? And obviously, right, I think one thing that's been really good for us with um, having a couple of those guys out, right, we've been able to see other guys really, really step up and rise up um, to what we want to get done. And so, right, you, you, you gain X back, right, and now you can kind of float X and move X where you want them and where you need them, right? Um, Complement that with Tyler Strain and, and, and between the, 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 the three-headed corner um, deal we got between Chase, Caleb, and Juice, right, you got a you got a pretty, pretty solid secondary, and that's not even including, right, that's not even including, right, Matt Bailey, um, 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 Miles Scott, Matt Grisettich, and um, Sabor Kareem, you know. And so I'm just, like, our secondary has a chance to be, like, they're young, but they talent-wise, they're, like, extremely special, man. Like, they just do some stuff every day. I'm, like, wild by it just because of, their skill set and their ability, you know. Um, Mac had an interception today that was ridiculous, right? Sabor, 
Sabor made a play in the scrimmage last week, and I just I looked at um I looked at Coach Jamison, and I like I was like wild by it, right? He's he's done some things this spring. Is you just kind of like nod your head at like how is that possible, right? Miles is Miles is Miles is uniquely talented, and his growth from last year to this year is incredible, right? And then we all know who Matt Bailey is. You know what I'm saying? Matt Bailey's like the leader of the group and the catalyst of the group, and so you have all those guys mixed in together with those corners and 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 and, and some of the nickels like. We got a talent-wise, we, we ain't gonna lack in talent. You know, um, it's a more, it's more a matter of um, experience, right? And sometimes um, it's 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 trial by error. You know, and you got to get guys in the fire. And a lot of those guys hadn't played a lot of games in terms of the corner position, right? But the, some of the safeties have, you know. And so um, you would hope you try to replicate some of the game speed and um, a lot of the things that we're gonna deal with during the season. But you can't put. 50, 60,000 people in the stands, right? Like that's that's just going to be the different part that guys got to get adjusted and acclimated to. But I'm very encouraged by the unit on the back end. Aaron, what do you want translatable in the spring? Like, what do you want to see at the end of spring that you feel like translates two months, two and a half months later? Yeah, I think I, 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 game, the games are for real. Yeah, I think the most important thing is right. Um, you got to find out who can play and who can help you. You know, so you don't try to. You don't try to out scheme your offense right during the course of spring ball because I know I can have things that help our players during the season. So you just try to put in base rudimentary calls for also um, for for speaking purposes, right, to to see who can play, right, who runs well, who flips their hips, hips well, who transitions at the top of the route, right, like who can come in out of breaks, who can who can catch the ball, right. And so you try to like during the course of spring, the evaluation this spring for us was like because we had some new guys come in like. Who can help us play? Who can help us win games? And so, right, understanding that and evaluating that through the course of spring, once we get into the off season, obviously you're also evaluating your 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 um your your not only just your personnel but your scheme, right? Okay, well I like this to that or I like that to this, right? The whole idea of the helmet communication between the coach and the players, right, before the ball is snapped. And so you try to go through all of those different things, right, that you're gonna face during the season. And you know call schematically can help players just naturally. But um, for us, this spring was, you know, because of where we were and losing the guys we lost, like who can not, not, not nothing scheme related and trying to screw with our offense, but who can help us play, right? And once we identify that, does it take 15 practices to do that? No, right? Some guys, guys made strides from practice one to five. Other guys made strides from practice five to 10, right? And so by the time you get to practice eight, nine, and 10, right, you got a pretty good foundation of, okay, these these are these these core group of guys, right? This core group of guys can help us like significantly, right? And so you just try to build from there, right? You try to keep bringing some of the young players along, right? Okay, this player may be, right? He may not come in and play immediately, but we got to get him stronger in the weight room, right? Well, you got pushed off at the top of the route because you needed to work on that in the weight room, and so um, uh, obviously our can't speak enough about our strength staff, but right, obviously this off season is going to be huge for us, right? After spring ball and guys lifting and taking care of their bodies, but um, between spring and fall camp and, 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 and therefore the season, right? I think the main thing you try to look for is who can help you, right? Especially with this, this whole portal world idea, right? Like, like some guys got in, unfortunately, and maybe more guys get, that's just the law of the land, right? Like, and maybe some guys we may be surprised about, Hope no, hopefully nobody else gets in, but it may be natural some guys that we're surprised about. And that's, just, that's not just us. That's teams all across the country, you know, don't have to deal with that, but you take it in stride and, and you try to make sure your roster is right and um, um, you try to fill in the the, the, the the places that you think are potential holes and just build from there, you know, because I think, I think we got a tremendous program. I think we run a, 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 um, a NFL-like system in terms of, right, there's reasons why our guys leave here and they just don't play in the NFL. They're starters, right? Why is that, right? Why is that? Part of that is the developmental piece. Right. And so like some guys got to wait. They got to wait to be starters. Right. For a very specific reason. And some guys, some guys probably want to wait. Right. And so um, that's where you get sometimes that's where you get transition. But it is what it is, you know. And so we, we love the guys that are here. We're going to continue to push them and, and grow them. And we love the guys who left. But it's unfortunate they left. And we'll continue to coach the guys that are here really, really hard and pour into them. And, Will be a better football team. What do you want to see on What do you want to see on Saturday? Sorry, what do you want to see on Saturday? And is, is there kind of a healthy competition with Coach Lunny on who who can win the day? <laughs> it's always a healthy competition with Coach Lunny, man. But I think at the end of the day, we we um we both understand what we're trying to get done, 
right, in terms of, 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 of helping our roster and each other, right? Um, he, he, he's done and unlocked some things for us this spring that has made me a better um, defensive coordinator and I'm sure vice versa. But, you know, obviously there's naturally competitive spirit, right? He's going to want his guys to go out there and score 100 points and we're going to want to go out there and have a million takeaways, right? And so I think that's just part of, right, being a football coach and, and we'll get after it and we'll, we'll treat it like a game as such. And um, once we get done with the spring, we'll be the best of friends, you know what I'm saying? But um, it's been some really, really good competition and, I'm, uh, I'm really, really grateful for him. And you talk about guys who can help you now, mm -hmm. not to pick one freshman out yeah. of a bunch, but it's Vernon. Uh, what have you seen from yeah. him? Is he a guy who could potentially, who just seemed yeah. to play freshman yeah. in the yeah. secondary? Before? Yeah, 100%. I think Vernon definitely has a skill set to help us now. Um, I think he, I think along with that, right, like, I think the weight room is going to be massive for him, right? Like, the last thing I want to do as a coach is, you know, oftentimes you put a guy out there their freshman year and they're not quite ready physically. Mentally, he's more than ready, but physically, they're not quite ready yet, right? You can, you can literally ruin a kid's career, and so um, he's had opportunity to run with to run with some of the tools this spring, which has been really, really good for him. But skill set wise, he has all the tools and intangibles. It's just a matter of continuing to develop those. And um, I mean, he, it, he 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 made a play um, during the scrimmage last week. I'm like, yeah, this kid looks pretty good, you know. And you like to see those kind of plays flash for young players, and you get excited about it, but. Um, just like all the freshmen, he's a work in process, a uh, progress, I'm sorry, between school and trying to time management, right? And then the element of playing football, right? Like eventually all those young bucks hit a wall and I'm just glad he's here. The early part of his career um, coming in the spring and enrolling in school early, but he's been he's been awesome. He's made a lot of huge strides, um, strides from practice one to practice 14.